Caledonia Mining's primary asset is the Blanket Gold Mine, located in the Gwanda Greenstone Belt in Zimbabwe. The company acquired the mine in 2006 and owns 64% of the property. The remaining share is split between our mine employees, the local community, and the Zimbabwean government. Operations began at the mine over 110 years ago in 1906. Since then, the mine has produced over a million ounces of gold, with a further 1.8 million ounces of resource. Blanket's current mine life extends to 2034, but we are confident that with further exploration, we should be able to extend that further. In August 2015, the company announced the construction of a new central shaft going down 1,250 meters from surface, providing access for horizontal development in two directions on two levels below 750 meters, thereby increasing production and extending the life of the mine. The shaft was built through internal cash generation with in-house engineering. The central shaft is one six meter diameter shaft divided into two sections. One section services materials and workers and the other is for ore that can hoist around 3,000 tonnes per day. The commissioning of Central Shaft was completed in the first quarter of 2021 and has enabled the company to reach its long-term production target of 80,000 ounces. The extraction of gold involves the breaking down of gold-bearing ore into increasingly smaller and smaller particles until the gold can be economically extracted. This process begins with blasting and continues at several stages throughout the mining process. The first underground crushing of oversized rocks takes place before the ore is hoisted to surface. Once rocks have been crushed, the ore is loaded into the skip where it begins its journey to surface. The ore is crushed further with a series of primary crushes and loaded into a stockpile where it awaits further processing. A series of vibrating screens separate out any oversized rocks for additional crushing in the secondary crushing circuit, which makes use of cone crushes. These break the ore down further until it reaches the consistency of coarse gravel. This particle size and consistency is ready to proceed to the milling circuit. It is stored temporarily in a funnel to ensure there is adequate buffer capacity to feed the grinding mill with a consistent feed. The next stage involves milling, where the ore is loaded into a large drum filled with steel balls. These mills grind the ore down to the consistency of caster sugar, after which the first gold can be economically extracted. The Gemini table relies on the difference in density between gold and the surrounding rock to separate out the gold through shaking the ore on this specifically designed table. The system uses gravity and the shaking motion of the table to separate out the first gold from the process. Caledonia is fortunate that approximately 50% of the gold it produces is recovered through this simple but ingenious piece of equipment. This helps keep processing costs low and improves the recovery and efficiency of the entire process. Here we can see a thin ribbon of gold gravitating towards the center of the table and is ready to be smelted into bars after the Gemini tape. The remaining ore, which is still rich in gold content, is ground down further to the consistency of baking flour, which will enable further extraction of the gold through the use of cyanide. The cyanide in leach process uses the unique properties of cyanide to dissolve the gold from the surrounding host rock. This is mixed in large tanks with cyanide in order to dissolve and extract the gold. Once the gold is dissolved in cyanide, it can be filtered from the solution with activated carbon and extracted to be smelted. The smelting process uses a gas furnace to melt the gold and burn off any impurities that may still be present at this stage of the process. The gold is approximately 80% pure, with a small amount of silver and some other metals present. The pouring of a gold doré bar marks the end of a long concentration process which has taken the gold from approximately 3 parts per million when it was blasted to a purity level of approximately 80%, an increase in gold concentration of over 240 million times. The remaining slag containing impurities is removed to reveal a doré bar 
which is then sent to the gold refinery for further processing, where it is upgraded from 80% purity to 99.99% purity and sold on the international market. As of 2023, Caledonia began exporting its gold directly to a gold refinery in Dubai.